an interesting question. When do we ventilate? Why do I say this is an interesting question? Because EMTs always had a very challenging time to say like, hey man, I'm gonna just give this patient oxygen via, we'll say a nasal cannula, now we're breathing mask. But when do we actually say, hey, I have to give this patient breaths. Obviously we know that this patient's going to require oxygen. If we're gonna be usually ventilating for somebody, we want to give them oxygen. But understand, using a BVM, a bag valve mask, does not require you to hook it up to oxygen. If you want to use like the best capabilities of that BVM, obviously hooking it up to oxygen greater than 15 liters per minute is gonna provide up to 100% oxygen concentration, and it is the best way of delivering oxygen to a patient. There is somewhat of a hierarchy when we talk about oxygen administration, least invasive to most invasive. Obviously, ventilating somebody is very invasive. We don't ventilate people just because they have a respiratory rate that's irregular. When, what I mean by irregular is not in the normal range. We say an adult is 12 to 20, just because somebody is at a respiratory rate of 26 or 10, doesn't mean that I'm going to ventilate for that patient. What's going to dictate my need to ventilate for that patient is if their respirations are not good enough for their life. And there's certain things that we're gonna look for uh, with this patient that's gonna give us kind of a clue as to do we need to bag that patient or not. One thing is how does my patient present? Just because my patient has a respiratory rate of let's say 10, that might be normal for them. But if my patient has a respiratory rate of 10 and it's shallow breathing and my patient appears to be mottled skin, cyanotic, things of that sort, that's when me as a provider have to say, hey man, this person's respiratory rate of 10, or it could be even 16, which we all know 16 is normal. If my patient's cyanotic with a respiratory rate of 16, that breathing rate is not adequate for that patient. What do you guys think? Is breathing considered a life threat? If the patient is not breathing, can they live? And the answer is no, of course not, right? So do we need to assess that this patient's breathing early? and jump in and fix that early, absolutely. So whenever we start talking about like um, a hierarchy of needs, number one, we have to be able to breathe. We have to have a pulse. What if the patient has pinpoint pupils? You know that my patient has pinpoint pupils, probably an opioid overdose. We need to give Narcan, right? Now, let's say that that same patient has a respiratory rate of 18, pale, cyanotic, shallow respirations, would you give Narcan before ventilating a patient? Or would you ventilate the patient and then prepare Narcan? When you're taking the National Registry and things of that sort, you need to really think about in your head, hey man, what am I gonna do first? So if my patient has pinpoint pupils and shallow respirations, I am 100% going to be bagging that patient while I prepare to give Narcan. We need to fix the life threat. Ventilatory status or effort will clue you in. 100%, you need to look for that in testing, all right? A lot of these tests, they're not gonna give you everything you want. I'm gonna tell you right now, for me, if I'm taking a test and it's a respiratory question, I wanna know what's my entitled capnography. I wanna know what's my SpO2. I wanna know what the respiratory rate, rhythm, and quality is. I wanna know what my lung sounds are, but is, are they going to provide me with all that every single time? Absolutely not. All right, your patient's a six, an 86-year-old female who suffers from seizures. She's found postictal with shallow respirations. Her breathing rate is eight breaths per minute and the patient appears to be pale. What is your treatment? Everything is cluing me into this patient has some sort of respiratory distress. We have a, a bad uh, breathing rate, which is eight. We know again, 12 to 20 is normal. Uh, it's stated shallow respirations. That was the big clue there. And the patient is pale. Everything is cluing me into ventilating this patient 100%.